Hey guys, Tattoo For You Richard here. Um, time for Update Monday and answers to the Q&A. So, let's get started. Not a lot going on on the update. It's been a rather uneventful, well, eventful yet uneventful hobby related weekend. I uh, We had to put our dog down. So, didn't get a lot of stuff done. And it was my wife's birthday on top of that, so we were out of town a lot. It was a rather fun weekend. Not really at all. Um, I do have one little update. I got this. Super cheap. For about 20 bucks. I've been wanting to test it out and check it out. And it finally came in. So I'm looking forward to seeing how to play it. Looks like it's super easy, real quick, and real fun. It's Star Wars, so you can't go wrong with that. So anyway, let's get on to these questions. Um, what I'm gonna do is at the end, I'll, I'll leave a link to everybody who asked questions in my in the description below. Uh, so let's get started. First off is 33 Clay Dog. It says, "Great stuff, mate." My questions are: What is your favorite anime series, and what music do you listen to while playing or just doing general hobby stuff? Favorite anime series, I'd have to say, was Robotech, because when I was a kid, it was on Channel 11, and I could watch it before school, and it even repeated after school, so I'd watch the series. I know it's really Macross, but back then it was called Robotech, so. Um, that, that'd probably say that's my favorite series. My favorite all-time anime movie is Akira, the, uh, the original Akira. And I really enjoyed it when they redid it and redubbed it to to make it more. I guess they'd call it like fan sub, but it was fan dubbed, so it was is a more accurate translation. That's probably my favorite anime of all time. Um, music kind of depends. Um, usually, I'm I've got uh, other YouTube channels on in the background, painting tutorials, things like that that I'm going on. If I'm listening to music, I, I have an eclectic taste. I like everything from Old school rock to old school rap. Um, my all-time favorite band is Tool. I'll listen to them a lot. Um, it really depends on the mood I'm in. Uh, if I'm looking for like battle music, I'll listen to some real heavy, like heavy old school metal, like good metal. Um, but really, Tool is like my all-time favorite. Just real melodic and awesome. So there you go. There's your answers, buddy. Thanks for the questions. Uh, Nick Itic Beer. He says. How long have you had your beard, and what got you into 40K? How long I've had my beard this go-round is probably, uh, it's over a year. I'd say a year and a half, maybe. It gets to a point where it kind of stops growing, and it grows outwards. And I usually tend to trim it on the sideburns, but I haven't yet. So, yep, that glorious gray and black beard. Uh, second part of the question is, what got me into 40K? Uh, I worked at Lone Star Comics for seven, eight years, uh, maybe even nine. But when I first started working, I was really just into co uh, comic books and drawing and stuff like that. A little bit of gaming here and there, uh, but mainly comic books and drawing and stuff like that. But uh, I was unpacking one day and came across, you know, it was a Games Workshop package, a shipment, a typical shipment of Games Workshop. I was unpacking it, and it was the first time I'd really sat and unpacked it. And it was uh, there the book how to how to make war game terrain the old red one. I saw that and I started thumbing through it and I was like, man, this is awesome. So I scooped that book up, and then after after building some terrain out of the book, I decided to get like a little box of a the little five pack of Chaos Space Marines. That got me into the hobby. Like from that moment on, I never looked back. Um, I got in, end up doing like a assistant sales up there like buyer and so I dealt with all the games workshop stuff so I pretty much the games workshop rep would hook me up too he would send me like a sample of each thing that came out so I could paint it up and mess around with it that that started my addiction <laughs> so uh, next is Wargamer Sean he asked a lot of questions where are you from I'm from Texas uh, down here near uh, just north of Dallas uh, Born and raised in Texas, visited a couple other places, not too far away, but that's that's where I'm where I'm from, man. 
what gives you passion in the gaming community? Uh, I think everybody else. Seeing what everybody else is doing, what seeing their passion for it just makes me strive to be better. Um, yeah, just the, the community in general, man. That I just love seeing the community, and the, especially the people who are in it for the right reasons. I've met a few people, especially working in stores, uh, who it's all about like the winning the tournaments and they don't care about anything else and they're kind of rude, but the people who are genuinely in it to have fun and a good time with other people, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, what is your favorite game? 40K, that's, that's my favorite. Um, Non-tabletop related? Uh, well, I guess it's still tabletop, but non like war game? Munchkin, that game's rad. I don't know why, I just love it. So, uh, what faction in 40k do you like the most? I'd have to say Tau. Um, Tau's probably my favorite just because of the mechs and everything. Uh, close after that would be the, I like the Necrons, but I'm still like Space Wolves. I really like the Space Wolves just because they're like Vikings in space. Uh, what does my daughter like? I gave her, like when she first started getting into it, I gave her a choice and let her look through everything and she zeroed right in on the Nids, the Tyranids. I don't know why that was just she just loved the bugs. So I hope that answered it. Mammoth Painting Studios. How many tattoos do you have, and which one is your favorite? Uh, I have a lot. I, I I'm a tattoo artist, so you kind of have to get them. Um, as really like if I added them all up, like this arm here, everything on this arm touches and connects, so it's one. And then my other arm is, is two, because like even from my hand up, everything's connected some way. So that's like two, th and then my upper arm's three, uh, one on my chest, four, few on my legs, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have a, a semi, I have a large back piece, but it's not completed. So I'd say probably like ten, if you, if you really, like the way I look at it, I have ten tattoos. So, my favorite one um, are my kids' names on my hand. I have my kids' names on my hand, so it's always like they're holding my hand. So, and now, Mini Warzone. If you could become any model in the 40K universe from any army, or who or who or what would you be and why? Man, that's a tough one. I was I, I read this and I pondered it and I thought about it a lot. And Gazgul Thraka comes up, comes up a lot. Just because to me, he's like the meanest, baddest orc. And he's just a beast of a barbarian. There he is, man. I, I just, uh, for some, it's him. I, I'd say Gazgul. He's just, he's the orkiest of the orcs. He's, I don't think he's afraid of anybody. He's just a big beast. Of, of a of a be of a creature so i would have to say that's it is uh gazgul thraka hey like i said he's just the orky he's just super orc man um yeah so i, I this is kind of fun i liked it uh i enjoyed the q and a's um i probably will do another one not next week but give it a give it a week's break and i'll do a little uh intro video saying i'm gonna have it coming up and i'll ask uh, let y'all ask questions on that one um, in the meantime, I need to get back focused, uh, this weekend, really put a hinder on that, but, um, I got my income tax coming in, so I'll be able to pick up some stuff I, I've wanted to get, and I've got models that I'm working on, and I'm going to try to get back focused on working on them too, so, uh, I look for seeing a lot more coming out from me, man, especially this week, if I can get my head back straight. Uh, I'm going to start getting back on task and getting the things I want to get done, like my my little series I want to have going, because I really want to rock this channel up, man. I'm, I'm, it's really It really helps me with my my condition, my sickness, my and uh, it helps me just in, in my depression, too. So, yeah. I Hey, guys. I love you. Y'all are great, man. Thanks for the questions. Thanks for everything. Thanks for being an awesome community and letting me come in it, man. Uh Y'all take care, peace out, and continue on the nerd life, my friends.